Hi, my name is Venus O'Hara and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be answering some questions and the first one is, um, well, it says, Hi, I love your videos very much and I watched one yesterday about mindfulness when masturbating. Yeah, but my question is how should a person with a religious background go for it? In the back of my mind, I still have the guilt because I remember what the Bible is saying about it. Hmm, well, so thank you very much for your question. I think this is something that can trouble a lot of people when they maybe perhaps want to enjoy their body or enjoy sex. And I understand this completely because I actually received a very restrictive Catholic education and and um, yeah, it definitely influenced my sexuality. But fortunately, it wasn't the only influence I had when I was growing up. So I was able to kind of compare and see that it wasn't the only way to see sexuality. So I can't really tell you what you should believe. I can only share with you um, my own experience, how I've overcome this hurdle or this obstacle, and I've, I'm now able to enjoy my body. I believe that, um, I believe that sexuality is, I don't know how to explain it, it's, like it's quite complex really, but I think we've been taught this idea that sexuality is sinful and I don't think that's very empowering and that's why I do what I do to try and help people get over this guilt and, and enjoy their bodies because I think sexuality has been repressed not because it's bad or sinful but because it's so powerful and it's only recently that I've been actually tapping into how powerful it really was and, and I, really, I always knew it was powerful but I'm now I'm seeing that it, it's even it, it goes beyond pleasure it goes beyond pleasure and romance and, and and orgasms it's just so so great so much greater than that and I believe that um for example, one way to get over guilt, um, for example, in the, in, in the case of a woman, would be to be grateful for the clitoris. Imagine the clitoris is the only organ that's been designed to just to provide pleasure. It has 8,000 nerve endings and the clitoris can actually is, um, affect or stimulate 15,000 um, nerve endings in your whole pelvic area. It's, it's incredibly profound. And imagine having this incredible gift between your legs and not using it. I mean, when I think of my religious um, upbringing, I do remember the parable of the talents. And the lesson there was to actually kind of use what you have, you know what I mean? And, and, and not waste anything. So I think, um, I think sexuality, I think people have painted a picture of sexuality either being a very black and white picture, it's either there's nothing, you're not supposed to enjoy it, or on the other extreme there's people, there's extreme promiscuity. And for me, I believe that sexual liberation is not about promiscuity, it's about really being connected with yourself and with your own sexuality and, and listening to your body and to your intuition, to your heart and only doing things that actually feel right to you. And I think orgasm is a gift from God. It's, it's so incredible, that feeling of absolute pleasure. You can feel, I don't know, I think it's, I think it's absolutely mind-blowing and, and I'm absolutely, absolutely grateful for that pleasure every time I feel it. But for me in the past, I have been, um, I have seen that the sexuality is not always a positive force. It, ha it can be addictive. And there have been times in my life when I've used masturbation as, it's been a quite negative thing for me. It's just, I've used it just for boredom. I've done it too too often. So for me, I think the key is actually just doing it when I'm really into it and, um, and being grateful for all the sensations that I can feel. And I think that if I take care of my own physical needs and, emo and, and, and use masturbation as something that I, a very special, a very special moment of connection with my body, um, then I believe that I make better decisions in my life with when it comes to relationships and my emotional life. I remember in the past when I wasn't taking care of my own sexual needs, sometimes my libido can kind of, kind of make wrong decisions for me. And I was in relationships that perhaps were toxic on some, some levels, but the sex, the sex side worked. So for me, I, I just think I'm, it's about finding a balance really and really enjoying your body. Um, yeah, I think um, 
I think that's the key really, just to enjoy enjoy your body. Because I think if you're if you're very religious and, and having this guilty relationship with your genitalia, for example, or just thinking that everything that's pleasurable is actually bad, I mean, I don't know, but that's not a very good mindset to have sex with. And I don't think you're gonna enjoy it as much. And maybe I don't know how easy it would be to reach orgasm if you were if you genuinely believed you were doing something wrong. But also I think it's important to, as well as self-pleasuring, is, is to choose your partners wisely and, and be with people who are going to respect you and, and that you respect and people that you really like. And uh, yeah, I, th I think that's very, very, uh, a key for me. I mean, I've, um, yeah, I think that's really, really, really important. But in terms of um, one's own sexuality, I would say um, enjoy it when you can, but not too often. Just, but just really listen to your body and um, masturbation doesn't always have to end in an orgasm it could just be a simple connection with your body with your breasts with your genitalia and even some other parts of your body I think it's good to connect with your body and even just um, for example something I love to do recently is I'm, I'm really getting into essential oils wow and I love to have a shower at night time or in the morning and I and I get um, extra virgin or organic olive um, a coconut oil and I mix my um, essential oils in them and it depends on the moment if it's a daytime shower or, or a nighttime shower then I will choose my essential oils accordingly and I like to just caress my whole body with them and just really 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 feel connected and uh, and grateful for all the wonderful sensations that my body can provide for me and I think uh, masturbation is the same and for me recently as you know I've been using masturbation as a tool to manifest my dreams and I think uh, it's, it's become even more and more special to me recently but that, that might that might not be your path I think everyone has a different approach as with religion so I don't really want to offend anyone who who is religious I think it's about finding your own your own um, definitions of pleasure and um, and just enjoying your body in your own way and uh, and seeing and uh, I don't know how to explain it really but it's just so personal sexuality pleasure and religion or spirituality that I think it's about really connecting with your intuition and doing what feels right for you anyway if you have if you have any if you have any additional tips to give on this subject please don't hesitate to leave a comment below and if you have any questions about sexuality dating orgasms sex toys or orgasmic living then please don't hesitate to contact me at venus at venusohara.org or you can add me on instagram at venusohara Thanks for watching.